it's already 11.50, and I'm sure that each one of us, we are hungry. So when I was in China, the mass, the schedule for mass, whether early in the morning or in the evening, and also due to the, uh, the, the, the small number of the laity. But when I came to the Philippines, I was amazed because many times I see even there are schedules for mass at noon time, at 11 or at 12 o'clock. I was wondering, are they not feeling hungry? Yes, I'm, I'm sure. But, but I can see that if we are living in a busy world and we have plenty of work to do, but still we find time to attend mass every day, it is already a, such a great sacrifice. Because we want to become holy, we strive for holiness, and we want to develop a friendship with the Lord. That's why, even though it's already or almost 12 o'clock the time for lunch, but we came here for Mass. And this is, we can, so, we can, we can say, the country of evil and unfaithful generation. Today, the scribes and the Pharisees they want to see a sign from, from Jesus. And Jesus said to them in reply, An evil and unfaithful generation seeks a sign, and they cannot see it. If we choose the opposite direction is, if we are not evil, if we are not unfaithful, which means we are pure, our hearts are pure, and we are faithful to our responsibility, whether in the society, in the family, or in our religious life, then we can see everywhere can be the signs from God to us. So how do we keep our heart pure and keep ourselves be faithful? In, if you have read the masterpiece of Laozi, who is a philosopher in China, he said, we have five senses, our eyes, our mouths, and our tongue, our ear, and we can touch also. If our eyes always look for something which are colorful, and eventually our eye would become blind. If our tongue always seeks something which are tasty, delicious, then eventually we cannot, dis we cannot discern what is, what is the taste. If our ear always looking for something pleasing to our ears, then eventually we cannot distinguish the sound. And if our nose always wants to smell something good, then eventually we cannot discern the smell. And if we, our, if we always want to, to, to do some crazy or exciting movements, then eventually we, our heart cannot find the tranquility and the calmness. So, so according to this great philosopher in China, we need to preserve the origin of our senses. And I think this is eventually, to, it is corresponding to, the, to today's gospel. Jesus was condemning the scribes and Pharisees of his generation, calling them evil and unfaithful because they were looking for knowledge, but eventually their heart was, was filled with knowledge. Then they do not allow the grace of the Lord to enter their heart. So for us, if we want to keep the purity and faithfulness in our heart, we also to invite our Lord Jesus to stay in our heart and to hold or to occupy our heart. I remember several days ago we were having, we were doing a uh, news. So I was uh, having a little conversation with my friend. And uh, so our, in our conversation we said, oh, you see, there are many things in our, in our time and our church is going to, uh, to beatify or to beatify many things in our, olden, in our modern time. So we were, I was saying that I also want to be like them. And my friend replied that, and she said, so 
we may ask ourselves this question: How many minutes or how, how many hours these saints, when they were here on earth, they have spent before the Blessed Sacrament, or they have spent in their prayer? Then asking ourselves, for us, for me, how many minutes have I spent in my prayer or before the Blessed Sacrament? So eventually, I say, if we want to be pure and faithful、uh, in our vocation, in our everyday life, and before the Lord, we also need to spend time and offer our time to Him, inviting Him to be the Priority in our life, then we can have the eye to see the signs or the signs of God's head in our life. Amen.